on my June menu plan. It is May 30th, and so this is about the time I like to get the next month done. And so I have my calendar out so that I know dates. Um, I already have a list of kind of what what we're doing, but I wanted to show you kind of what I do when the kids pick the same thing over and over. And these are the books that, the cookbooks that I have been liking to cook out of recently. And I say recently as in like the last like six to nine months. Um, I have pretty faithfully only cooked out of these cookbooks and not some of my other ones, but I have a whole shelf of cookbooks. So I wanted to also share some of my cookbooks with you. And so that's what we're doing. So, we're talking June, and in June we have a couple of things going on. They're not written down on this calendar, they're actually written on this giant calendar that I have right here, um, and this month right here is June. Um, but this just keeps the dates close to me so that I can see the actual numbers. Um, so we have a wedding at the beginning of the month, so that we have dinner already taken care of because we're eating at the wedding. Um, we have a church event um, this week, and so we are going to eat that day at the church event. And the little kids will be at a babysitter's. We're, we will be at church all day Father's Day, so we're actually going to have Father's Day celebration on the 16th and spend the whole day celebrating my husband. And so we'll do a big Father's Day dinner then. And then the week of the 18th through the 22nd, my three teenagers will be gone. So um, I will be probably cooking more, well, definitely lighter because I'll only be feeding five of us and um, no teenagers. So, um, so that'll be that week. And then I think on the 23rd, we have a dance recital and I'm pretty sure we're going to take the kids out to eat um, before or after that, probably after the dance recital. And then we have Sundays, we're at church all day on Sunday, so this is going to be my crock pot day. So I have four crock pot meals. So that's kind of how I start out. I start out writing like I have four crock pot meals, here's when different things are going on. And then I let each one of my family members pick three to four meals for the rest of the month. And then I kind of fill in or like Alex picked pizza. Liz, uh, Liz picked pizza, Riley picked pizza, Jackson picked pizza. We're probably not gonna have pizza four times. Um, we'll probably have it once or twice, um, but that will take care of that. But again, we'll have like burgers and burgers, um, cheeseburgers. So again, we'll probably only have them once or twice, but um, the kids tend to pick the same items that they really like, which leaves me with a little more room to pick stuff out of these cookbooks um, to make. So. Let me show you the cookbooks that I have really been enjoying. Um, <clears throat> this one is Paula Dean and Friends, Living It Up Southern. Um, it's just got some good Southern recipes in it. Um, and they always turn out good. Like they're super easy um, and they always turn out yummy. So I got that one. Um, Miss Kay's uh, Duck Commander Kitchen. This is a really good one. And if you want, probably the best uh, pancake recipe is in this cookbook. And I even um, altered it a little bit when my daughter was having trouble with digesting milk. Um, I even altered it a little bit and it was still just as good. And so this one is uh, the Pioneer Woman Food from the Frontier. So this is just her like um, scrumptious dinners. Um, it actually has like breakfast, lunches, dinners. You can see I have all of these little tabs for different ones that I've made um, that I, that we really liked. This one I cook out of all the time. I And I have a lot of these uh, recipes memorized. Um, this one, I think I got this cookbook the year I got married. Probably the best cookbook I've ever gotten. And um, I actually never pull it out to cook from it anymore because I know all of the recipes by heart. <laughs> it's not a very big cookbook, it's really thin. Um, but it has super great crock pot recipes. And um, again, they always turn out really good. They're super easy, you know, as crock pot recipes tend to be. They're, you know, you literally throw them in the crock pot and come back six or eight hours later and they're ready. Um, but this is, this is one of my favorite ones and I wanted to share it with you. 
This one is Home Cooking with Trisha Yearwood. Um, again, just another really good, very easy to follow recipes. Um, and they just tend to be like good family style recipes. What I've noticed is that um, like the more southern recipes that we have, um, the more family oriented, the more like my entire family will like the recipe. Um, it's June and every summer I pull out this one, which is my Bobby Flay's Grill It book. And so it's got a lot of really good recipes that you can do on the grill from um, Mexican food to hamburgers to chicken and just all sorts of good stuff, but it's all done. Okay, so this is how my list turned out. Um, I will then take this and put it on, into the calendar and I'll show you that in a minute. But um, I wanted to show you that I picked four crock pot meals um, and those are for the four Sundays of June. And then on June 16th, we're having taco salad. That is one of my husband's favorites. And so that's what we're having for Father's Day. Um, I know most people like grill out on Father's Day or whatever, but he doesn't particularly like to grill. Uh, he doesn't mind if I do it, but he doesn't like to do it himself. And so, um, <clears throat> and he requested taco salad, so that's what we're having. Um, so I have no dinner on these three dates. Um, one of them we're gonna go out to eat, one of them's a wedding, and one of them's a church event. And then these are the rest of the meals. So um, you can see my kids have picked several meals. I just, I made sure that we are definitely having all of the ones that they picked, but we're not having pizza six times and that type of thing. So um, I think I'm gonna do homemade pizza and um, let them make individual pizzas this time. And we have burgers, lasagna, nachos, hot dogs, chicken and rice, spaghetti, macaroni and cheese, enchiladas, chimichangas, pork chops, chicken and dumplings. So those were all of the ones that were already picked over here on this list. And then I went through my cookbooks and um, out of, let's see, I think I used Miss Kay's cookbook. Um, I can't remember. I didn't use Paula Deen's. Um, I used the Pioneer Woman, the other one. I used this one, um, and I used this Paula, uh, this, what is it? Pioneer Woman. And so those, those are the ones that I got recipes out of for the rest of it. So we're gonna have tortilla soup, um, meatloaf, breakfast, after talking about the um, pancakes from Miss K, I decided that we needed to have those for um, dinner one night. Um, BLTs, that just kind of popped into my head after I wrote the breakfast one down. So um, we have fried chicken and grilled chicken, uh, toasted raviolis, ham, um, and then this one also, all of a sudden I remembered that I had a ham in the freezer. And so I was like, oh, we need to cook that. So I, that's why I put that there. Um, baked spaghetti, stuffed pork chops, um, chicken strips, and chicken spaghetti. So you'll notice that we still have a lot of pork on here. Um, that's because last fall I bought two pigs and had them um, butchered. And so we're still eating off of that. I, you know, like I throw in things like chicken or um, burger or, you know, like hamburger. Um, but for the most part, we are still just eating off of that meat, which is great. I mean, that's lasted already eight months and we still have, one of my freezers is still full. So that has been a terrific savings um, and I'll do it again this year. So um, now I will show you how I put it onto my whiteboard calendar that I have. This is my whiteboard and um, I, I mean obviously it's a dry erase one, but I use these wet erase ones uh, that came with my giant calendar. Again, I have a huge calendar right there and I have a wet erase one and I like it and I do it with wet erase so that it doesn't get smeared throughout the month, but this is the issue that happens when I clean it off. So about once a month, my hand looks like this. Um, so I'm gonna fill this all out and then I'll show you what the month looks like. Okay, so here's the final part. This is what it looks like for June. 
Um, I realized that I didn't end up actually using all of these recipes because um, we have a rehearsal dinner on the first, so I thought that I would just pick up some frozen pizzas for the kids on that day. And then we have the wedding day, and actually I'm going to be working at the church all evening this night, so the kids will just have uh, macaroni and cheese. And again, we won't be doing anything, having dinner this night. This one will be Father's Day, the dance recital day, we'll be going out to eat. And so this is how um, June looks. On the side, I like to put the breakfasts, and these are not completely, these are, sorry, my three-year-old is singing The Greatest Showman. These are not, like, uh, if we decide that we want to have pancakes on Monday instead of on Wednesday, that's totally fine. But I like to try to keep it um, like this so that we can um, not eat the same thing for breakfast every day. So um, Sundays are a fast day, so just some peanut butter and toast um, will fill up their bellies before we leave because we leave the house at 6.45. Um, smoothies on Monday, eggs and toast on Tuesday, Wednesday is pancakes, Thursday is oatmeal, Friday is cereal, and Saturday is French toast. Okay, he'll put it on for you. And then um, lunches again, these can all be rearranged. Um, so I have peanut butter and jelly or turkey on Sundays. That's kind of a fast one between services. Um, salads, egg salad, grilled cheese, chicken salad, uh, peanut butter crackers with fruit, and then Saturday anything goes. Kind of whatever leftovers we have, or if they want a sandwich. We're gonna have meatballs and spaghetti for dinner. All right. And now you know my meatball and spaghetti kid. So this is, so on Saturdays is kind of whatever leftovers we have from the week plus, you know, or a sandwich or um, ramen noodles or whatever they want, you really. Um, often on a Saturday afternoon, um, my husband and I will go on a date. And so um, that kind of leaves the teenagers in charge with anything goes. So this is how I menu plan. It usually takes me probably close to an hour. Um, that's what it took me today. That's in between, you know, like talking to kids and getting water and opening and closing the back door 500 times. And so, um, but it's totally worth it because now I have it done and today is Tuesday. So I still have a couple more days left of the May, May menu. Mom, Tuesday? Today is Tuesday. And then we'll start this and um, so yeah so that is how that is going so I will see you next time it, because it's Tuesday I will see you next time give this video a thumbs up if you like menu planning as much as I do and um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so you can follow me on a more regular basis bye bye